Shalom, all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai, the barn is unto the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and salutation to the elect. And real quick, I just wanted to do a sit down concerning dreadlocks, all right? Because if you look out into the so-called Israelite world, all right, you will see certain guys in camps with dreadlocks, man, okay? Dreadlocks all down their back, man. Now, the reason that they do that is because they say that O Samson had dreadlocks, O King Solomon had dreadlocks, and so they do it because they think that our forefathers had dreadlocks, man. But they didn't have dreadlocks, all right? They had braids in their hair, man. Okay, dreadlock, all right. Um, uh, having dreadlocks is not a custom of the Israelites, man. Okay, it has nothing to do with Israelite history, man. All right. But that's a heathenistic custom, man. Okay, go do your research on the ancient Scottish and the Celts. All right, do your uh, research on the real Greeks and the uh and the uh uh, uh Indians, man. All right, the uh, East Indians. Okay, Elamites. All right, ancient Hamitic um Hamitic uh, tribes, man. Okay, Canaanite tribes. All right, Phoenician. They did that stuff to dedicate that to them guys that they worship, man. All right. That was idolatry, man. That was never an Israelite custom. But yet, these guys will try to go through the scriptures and justify that so that they can keep their vain look, man. All right, that's a that's a, uh, that's a worldly look, all right? To try to look good for the hoes, man. These niggas are vain, man. But yet, they'll take the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and put it in their mouth, all right? Go out on the streets and preach and claim that they're following this truth. But are they really not, man? Okay? It's vain glory, man. Guys all lined up through. Okay? And so let's go into the scriptures, man, and see uh, what the Bible says about Samson having locks in his hair. Let's see, was it actual dreadlocks or was it actual braids in his hair, man? And so this is one of the scriptures that they're like going to, man. This is Judges 16 to 13. It says, And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Let uh, tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web. Now, they'll say, you see, it said that he had seven locks in his hair. All right. And this is where also you get the Rastafarianism, man. Okay, with Haley Selassie and, uh, and uh, Benjamin, man. Okay, talking about some Sheba uh, had sex with King Solomon, man. Okay, King Solomon didn't, 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 didn't uh, deal with that whore, man. All right. That's a false doctrine, man. But yet they do it, all right, and uh, go to dreadlocks and say King Solomon had dreadlocks, man, and Samson. No, man. Samson did not have seven dirty locks in his hair, man, because those locks are just dead hair, man, okay? That shit is unclean, man. But uh, real quick, let's go into the Hebrew word for locks, man, all right? Uh, for all you guys out there, man, all you demons, this is the word lock. In the Hebrew, all right, this is H4253. The word is macha lapa. All right, it says braid, lock, plait of hair. Strong definition, all right, this is the key point right here. This strong definition, it says a ringlet of hair as gliding over each other lock. What's that, man? That's a braid. Braids glide over each other, man, to lock the hair up, man. All right, to tangle the hair uh, when you do it, man, okay? Samson had seven braids going down his back, man. All right, he was a Nazarite, okay? And so there was long, man. He did not have dirty dreadlocks in his hair, man. Y'all fooling yourselves, man. But yet, guys do it for vainglory, man. Okay, for these hoes, man. These niggas are lost souls, man. A lost soul. They heathens, man. Okay? Jake tried to bring this black culture into following your how by Shimi how shy You can't do that, man. All right. This is how you know Jake don't want to give up that old man. All right. This truth called for us to be a new man. Okay. That means that you had to change yourself uh, totally, man. All right. And follow these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, man. All right. Having dreadlocks, that's an unclean thing, man. All right. And the scripture talk about uncleanness, man. Okay. I saw Hope and Pray to sit down, edifying. All praise be to you. How about Shimi Hawashai? All right, do your research 
on dreadlocks and see the true origin of them, man. Okay? That's a heathenistic custom, and it was dedicated to idols, man. All right? Shalom.